I'm Daniel Alikov. I make new beauty. My art has no meaning other than to be new and beautiful. Magic. I think I shouldn't really say that I pursued art in my life because, you know, anything I did as a hobby or professionally was somehow connected to art, whether it was uh, photography, poetry, music, uh, graphic design, drawing, of course, and uh, computer graphics, it was all connected to art somehow. So I think I'm just native to art. I didn't really pursue it. More balance inside my mind, maybe. Uh, to know myself better by doing art. Uh, and also, I think, to achieve more um, artistic and personal freedom and uh, share it with my viewer as well. Um, I use variety of mediums. I do paintings, I do assemblages where I combine various of different materials. You know, uh, on paintings, I mostly use acrylics and uh, epoxy resin as my favorite materials. For assemblages, I use, as I said, like different materials. I try to use some modern fabrics, some fancy looking things, or uh, I can produce some elements for my uh, compositions, like by myself. <clears throat> Actually, I do experiment with my medium a lot. Always find uh, some new ways to, you know, to achieve more visual attractiveness. So my medium is uh, my, my infinite field of experiments. Um, yeah, my studio, Sometimes I just went in, in there, you know, uh, and uh, my materials and uh, tools are everywhere. So I can just stand uh, surrounded by that like, and uh, figuring out what I can do. Or I can uh, go to my studio already knowing what I should do and uh, I'm just trying to find the proper materials that I, I will use for this uh, for this work. So it might be different, but you know, uh, overall the process of me working in my studio, always listening to some uh, music, some electronic music, it's always like uh, really comparable to a meditation process, where I try to reflect a lot on what should be done, how it should be looking, or if I do some certain uh, thing, some certain task right now, I can forget about everything by just, you know, focusing 100% on something. Recently, I try not to reference really from uh, work of other artists, from other art, uh, but mostly, I find my inspiration mostly in internet, in, um, in web design, in uh, fashion design, or uh, NFT culture influences me a lot as well. But I try not to be inspired by some certain works of art, mostly like uh, overall, you know, from, from how, the, how the modern design looks, what fashion designers, uh, use or how they how they see their designs. What new uh, what what new uh, you know uh, looks or pro 
approaches invented for design or some uh, fashion things. It's, it's, it's always really uh, in, inspirational to me. And also music is very much an inspiration always to me as well. And uh, electronic music with no words is a huge inspiration as well. Basically, it's abstract, but I'm not really sure what style it is. My older paintings can be described as futuristic abstraction. My newer pieces are, as I call it, techno-naive abstractions. What techno-naive means, yeah, as, as I said, it's a mixture of the two almost opposite things, but both connected to visual art. One is a strict exact shapes, patterns, some scientific technological uh, stuff mixed together with some awkward hand-drawn freehand style, you know, like more, more uh, maybe street art style things, which should be connected effectively with, with the first one. And uh, this is pretty much the visual language that I'm working on. And also it consists of a set of materials and shapes that I can intermix together in any order or configuration. So they work perfectly together and they always uh, look beautiful, no matter in which order they're mixed together. I think it's, it should be refreshed and shaken a little bit. I think we, in, I think the contemporary art industry got a little bit, you know, uh, uh, too much uh, cyclical and, you know, repeating itself uh, again and again. I, sh I think it should be something fresh and new done in the uh, art world, finally. There are some, some cases that we know, but I think we need more. Like, we need to adjust the rules. I think I, I would like to try bigger sculptures, you know, and uh, I, I wanted to try to work with, uh, with freestanding uh, sculptures made of uh, some, some, you know, serious material like steel. So the idea, my, my overall idea is to give people as much freedom as possible when they see my art so they can reflect on it interpret it, it you know as they as they like to see anything in there that's why that meaninglessness it is used as a tool not as a as a provo pro provoking thing you know not as a as a shun artistic showing off, like I don't want to explain anything. Nothing like that, you know, it's, it's a conceptual approach which I uh, consciously chose, uh, where I, I just want to give my viewer enough freedom so they can feel it. For sure, yeah, meme is definitely art and it's uh, it's visual art connected to the art of humor or uh, some witty thinking, maybe. And it's great, yeah, I, I really like memes, but you know, um, since my art is not much about meaning or about uh, popular culture, like in a straight way, so that's why the memes are not super close to what I do. 
so it's not really connected somehow but you know <clears throat> sometimes in memes you can find some really uh, really encouraging you know uh, artistic approaches or decisions Yeah, there was even some protests going on uh, on social media about AI art. So my point on AI art is very simple and logical. AI or neural networks is just a tool. So without um, initiation from a human, from artist or someone else, uh, either making a, a prompt, a text prompt, or trying to modify some uh, existing image. Without those actions, it doesn't do anything, you know? AI cannot create art on, it, on its own. It means it's strictly just a tool, and uh, all bad things are done, as always, by humans, not by algorithms and all good things as well, you know, uh, so it strictly only means, it only, it, it's only important uh, what some certain artist wants to do with AI. So I think uh, the technology of uh, neural networks is beautiful and uh, I use it now all the time in my work and I like it a lot. It, 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 it extends my my abilities a lot you know i can i'm i'm super happy that i can use it it's really great i like it